Hey, welcome and this tutorial is a complete introduction to Photoshop for beginners. Alright, if you have no knowledge about Photoshop, then this tutorial is for you. But just a heads up, before you go, fear killed a lot of dreams, so don't let it kill yours, right? Let me just tell you this before you proceed. So, don't let this fear kill your desire to learn Photoshop. This tutorial is what you need because I'm going to tackle just a few things that you really need to know to get started with Photoshop the right way. So, in this particular tutorial, which is the part one of it, I'm going to tackle these tools over here. Of course, not all of them. Like I said, I'm going to pick out the most important ones that you need to learn to get started with Photoshop. And I'm going to tackle some things over here for you to you know use the photoshop the right way so without further ado let's jump into it and i hope you're already for the fire for fire because this is going to blow your mind it's going to change everything you need to know about photoshop just wait and let's write this together let's go so we are in photoshop right over here okay i'm using photoshop 2021 and it is awesome trust me it's really really awesome so the first tool over here is a move tool and one thing really interesting about photoshop is the fact that when you point out to a certain tool in a photoshop application it quickly show you the uses of that tool and stuff like that you can learn photoshop you know i mean the tools you can learn them through this way as well but since i'm here i just have to tell you what each tool does so first off we are going to start with the one over here which is the move tool yes you are going to need this tool a lot in your journey as you know someone who is going to design with photoshop right so what does the move tool do like the name suggests it helps you to move items in your photoshop working space just like you are seeing over here i am moving this fear around the fear which actually killed a lot of dreams i'm moving it around i don't want it to kill yours for learning photoshop right your dreams for learning photoshop must come true to pass so i'm moving the fear around now there's something about this move tool that i have to quickly tell you before you do any other mistake now if you want to use the move tool and let's say you want to move your item up and down in a straight line without any distraction just hold on to your item like this start moving it and hold on to the shift key on your keyboard you can see no matter what you do your item is only moving up and down vertically it's not doing anything horizontally right the same thing apply if you want to move your item horizontally without it going up and down just start moving it horizontally hold down onto your shift key on your keyboard and you are good to go no matter what you do it's just going to go in a horizontal way so that's something you also want to know about the move to now let me pull this back over here right what again do you need to know about move tool the shortcut for move tool is v on your keyboard now let's assume my cursor is on this brush tool selected right now and i want to move back to this move tool but i don't want to use my mouse pointer and do that so what i can do is to tap on v on my keyboard and quickly you can see this move tool is selected right so you could see when i bring this i mean I put my pointer on a move tool you can see the move to routine at the down over there letter v is attached to it that is a shortcut for selecting the move tool right so quickly let's proceed to the next thing the next thing over here is the selection tool what is the selection tool just like the name suggest it to select part of something in your design space right what is that something it can be an image that you want to select right so let's just take this picture right now we want to select part of it okay let's assume you want to select this part this is a rectangular marking tool let me point at it so that you get to know what i'm talking about rectangular marking tool and the shortcut for it is what letter m on your keyboard right so you come here and just do this and when you tap on backspace on your keyboard with the layer selected i mean look at this right I've selected this and this is the layer of this picture if I tap on a backspace this part of my image is going to be cleared off with this rectangular marking tool so I'm just going to undo that quickly you understand right once 
I just undo that. When you come to this rectangular market tool, we have different different varieties of them. So you can right click and you see them over here. We have the elliptical market tool, we have the single row market tool, we have single color market tool, right? So you may be in need of the first two over here, which is the rectangular market tool and the elliptical market tool. So the elliptical, just like the name suggests, it is elliptical like this, right? It is not a complete circle. However, if you want to make it as a complete circle, just hold on to your shift key and drag it to form a perfect circle for you. Just like what you are seeing right here. And like the previous one we did, if you want to cut out the space, just tap on a back space on your keyboard and you are good to go. But, but we are going to just leave everything normal. So I'm going to undo that quickly. To undo, you already know the shortcut, which is Ctrl Z, right? Ctrl Z or Ctrl Z how you want to pronounce it is definitely up to you right good so that is it about that you want to delete this selection area just tap on ctrl d and you are good to go right good so that is it about the market tool you know the rectangular market tool and the elliptical market tool those are the two most important aspects of this market tool that you really want to use so we also have over here lasso tool lasso tool is also for selection right so it will help you to select manually right it will help you to select manually like this good you can see that right and if you tap backspace boom it is off again right ctrl z you bring it back ctrl d you delay the selection all right the market tool we have different variations of them as well so you right click you see it over here this is the lasso tool uh, sorry i'm i was talking about lasso tool not marking right so the lasso tool we have the polygonal and we have the magnetic lasso tool right and the lasso tool the symbol for it is l letter l on your keyboard will take you straight to the lasso tool so this is the polygonal lasso tool polygonal in a sense that what if you start drawing this is how it's going to appear if you click release click release it's going to form something like this right to the join the path and if i press delete i mean if i press the backspace on my key that part is going to be deleted right but i don't want to do that so we undo and we delete i hope that is pretty clear right hope that is pretty clear and a magnetic lasso to what does it do right how does it work you understand I don't know if you, if you can see what is happening over here. The magnetic lasso tool is such that what it picks the point of the image that you are working with, and it kind of adds some anchor points as you move along. Okay, all these tools are used for selection. Delete, undo, delete this. Right, all these tools are used for selection. Right, and we also have another one. Look at this, market tool for selection, lasso tool for selection, we have quick selection tool. Just listen, the name is quick. So it does that very quickly, right? So you can just bring it onto your image and try to select. You can see how it is working over here pretty much, right? So I can just bring it here and look at how it is working, right? Anything I want to do, I can just do that. And then I've done my selection and there's some parts I want to take off. You go here to the top over here. You tap on this one with the minus sign. Then you come, you remove it off. You remove it off. You remove it off. It is as simple as that, guys. It is very, very simple. But nevertheless, there's another simple way to remove background of things that we're going to talk about hopefully in another video not this particular one this particular one is just to introduce you to the basic tools that you need in the photoshop application and i hope you are enjoying this tutorial so far and if you are enjoying it don't forget to hit that like button on this video and also don't forget to subscribe yes because more tutorials are going to come your way which is definitely going to blow your mind right hope you're ready for that good that is it about a quick selection tool now we have object selection tool and we also have magic one tool right all these tools are for selection just like the name suggests selection right so 
we are now with the selection tool we have the market tool the lasso tool and the quick selection tool column over here right the magic one i don't know if you really want to go about that and say the magic one it kind of sample your work automatically right let me zoom in over here for you to say something the magic want to kind of sample your work automatically so if i select here i kind of select the areas with the same kind of color and stuff like that you will see this area of the sky kind of matches with this when i tap on this it automatically selected this area so things of literally the same color get selected right and look at this space over here it will be selected look at that this space over here when i tap on it it will also be selected you understand that is it about this magic one tool and i hope you do grab the concept of this magic one tool don't forget you actually feel the whole vibe around this tool when we start using them practically in our subsequent tutorials as we start designing right so that is it about that let's put this back to the normal screen and of course to put this back to the normal screen i tap on not i tap but i press ctrl zero to bring it back to fit the screen perfectly now we may not talk about the slice tool i mean we may not talk about the frame tool but we need the eyedropper tool what at all is the eyedropper tool good i think let me just come back onto it so that you get to know what it is actually right like i said earlier photoshop help you in these kind of ways so look at that sample colors from images so let's assume i want to insert a shape or i just want to change the color of um this thing over here right the background color let me unlock this good so let's assume i want to change the color of this background or i'm going to insert a solid color <coughs> sorry let me delete this good awesome i'm going to insert a solid color at the top over here and this color do you know what i want to do i want to use a color from this image all right the kind of uh, i don't know if it's gold orange no it's not it's not even yellow i want to use this particular color as a background i mean for the something color that i want to use so with my eyedropper tool selected I just have to come to the image select this boom look at that it's awesome i'll just press enter and i'm good to go isn't that interesting if it's really interesting leave a comment down below let me know say just type it is interesting type it is interesting and let's go right so that is it about the eyedropper tool now we have the healing tool healing tool what does it do all right healing tool what does it do let me quickly zoom in for you to say something all right so let's assume uh this i zoom in too much but let's see how best i gonna help let's assume this portion of this so wait I, I don't want this to appear over there i can just clear it off with uh the healing tool right so i have to alt click to define a source point to use right so let me just reduce the size of the brush good so i have to hold on alt and select the area i want to use so i'm going to select this area all right after selecting it i can go to this place and use it like let me zoom in zoom in for you to see something really quick yeah look at this part of my place let me undo you can see what is there and this supposed to be the after all right so look at that look at this look at this look at this look at it it has been cleared off right that is with the use of the healing brush now the next brush that we're going to talk about is just a normal brush you can use it to do some painting and stuff on your work depending on the color that you select and stuff like that right it is a very simple tool to use but you may not need this right now when we start designing you will need it right so that is it ctrl z undo right fade back to the screen perfect and we also have that clone stamp tool how does it work you first off define your clone source look at what i just did covered my face with a whole lot of that 
so I want to clone this right so I just selected my clone source and I'm painting it over here right it is just to clone something and paint it at a different part in your image so it is not anything that much right so that is a clone tool you want to use right I don't want the video to keep long and already we are much into it but of course I need to give you details about stuff like that good let's go to the eraser to what is eraser by now I hope you all already know what an eraser is eraser simply clear off things that you did already right so to use the eraser tool you probably want to increase the opacity of it to 100 then you can just erase things like this you can see everything is gone right but a time will come when i start teaching you more into detail about designing and stuff like that you realize that you may not even need the eraser tool you use something else okay okay we have other tools added down over here but i think i'll talk about these tools in the next part of the tutorial since the tutorial is keeping a little bit lengthy already which of course i don't want so i'll just end this video over here and continue in the next one which is going to be the part two of this introduction to photoshop for absolute beginners right so if you enjoyed this video so far just go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe for more video this is the first video in the year of 2023 and this is first february like i promised to give you a video on first february this is it promise delivered right so i'll see you in the next one bless up